is Keisho22 here and I'm bringing you a new modding tutorial of Minecraft 360. I mean Minecraft on the Xbox 360 version and what we're going to be t doing today is not just a regular form of modding but a hex mod. We're going to get a data type from the game save and change it and what we're actually going to be changing is your enchanted weapons. So like if you have a enchanted level 1, we're going to be changing that to enchanted level 10, which is the highest that the game supports of right now, that I'm pretty sure of. There are better mods out there that cancel out other things, and you can probably have it more than level 10. It just shows up as level 1. It's just really confusing. But we're going to do it this way, and we're going to get this done and over with. So go ahead and start by moving the game save to your USB after you made a game save on your Xbox. And then go ahead and plug it into your laptop and open up Horizon. I will have all download links in the description. And I just want to give a big thanks to, let's see, uh, this person, the founder, one Marco 666 He helped me with many things he's great at finding things just yeah so do him a favor go like and subscribe to his page okay so after you have plugged into your, your flash drive into your computer and open up horizon go ahead and click the games tab and we're going to go to minecraft i didn't set up a game save particularly for this so i'm just going to go on which i hope there's some enchanted swords on. Okay, so we're going to scroll down and so pretty much just find the world that you know that you want. I'm going to go with Sandy K Shadow 22, which K Shadow 22 is my gamer tech and my YouTuber name. It's my name for many things. I have an email, K Shadow 22 at yahoo.com. If you like to ask me a question go ahead we're going we're going to go to the contents tab we're going to right click the save game dot dat you should only have the save game dot dat if you have something else on and own your game saves probably done so just go ahead and click extract and we're going to extract it to a desired location which you're going to second download in your description and i believe it's going to be just a minecraft application and what you're going to need to do is save the game save wherever this I think it's one of these two I'll figure it out uh, but save it where the modification thing is so so yeah I'm saving it here oh no what just happened save game dot death we're going to save it as okay so that's it should be successful and it is storming snow outside right now well actually not anymore but it was earlier okay so we can probably go ahead and exit out of that because we don't need it at the moment go ahead and minimize horizon so here we got the save game dot whatever what we're going to do is type in cmd and this can only be done on the windows computer by the way and we're gonna find the CMD that pops up at the top. This comes with every program, well, every computer. And we're gonna find open file location. We're gonna copy, control C. I'm just gonna right click and click copy. So for people that don't know, so control copy. And we're gonna paste it here where, where the save game and the mod is. And since I already have it there, I'm not going to copy it. As you can see, it's right there. And I will have this code in the description. And what we're doing now is that we're going to decompress the file. <clears throat> and I do have a bit of a cold, but okay. And we're going to paste it. And we're going to click enter. You're going to see a bunch of data values pop up. Writing data to file, done. So you can see now is that we have this save game dot de at dot decompressed. Now what we're going to do is open up our hex tool. I believe there's, I use HXD, there's other programs like 
hex office or something like that I'll have this one in the description this one's free to use and it works perfectly fine as the others so we're going to go to file then open find mod well our game save that, that, that decompressed I have a lot of file and folders on my computer but I'm pretty organized because I know where they all are so yeah it's all good okay. uh, so oh yeah I want to click on minecraft now, I believe we select the dot, 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 decompressed. Okay, as you can see, this is all hex coding here in the center. And this, the dot text outcomes over here on the right. And this is just the offsets over here, so I can't really do anything with those. Or let's go ahead and click where the very beginning care. Oh, wait, I'm trying to down some. Scroll all the way to the top, select where the first value is. We're going to go to search, find. And we're going to... O A. Okay, we're O A. Not quite sure. If okay. Uh, so just keep going on. I believe it has to be in the data field. So just keep on do going down. You know what this may actually be. So I suggest is if like something which it probably won't. It could mess up save. So, is replace O A with F F. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and you can do F F three. You just continue. We're gonna do F F. Continue. And I already have this game modded on my. Oh yeah. So this one's an example. It's zero lowercase a that is not what we want so we're just gonna continue going down just change every single one if you miss a few that's fine it just represents every single sword that's enchanted in your game so yeah the capital ones this made it is definitely worth it your sword will never break and it's just wonderful I recommend this it's more of an advanced is do a search replace app and oh wait no we can replace and as you can see you want to so 142 occurrences of oa so there we go is modded all the swords should be enchanted to level in all whatever you would call it all the effects back they will be level in so level too much and so what we're going to do is go up to the top and save except we're going to open up first, and I will have the code for file link. We're gonna, it does not work for this at this kind of notice. So, reading buffer from file, I believe it's still loading. Yes, it is still. Like, as if. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, we're good. Is this done? It's not. Okay. See, I was smart just to wait there. Who knows what have, would have happened if I exit out of it? Would have went correct. So now it is. I believe we can delete the game save. Oh, wait. Yeah, go ahead and delete the game save. Delete the save game dot dot. Dot decompress. Now we're going to just back one. Delete all extensions, but dot dat. The file may become unusual, but it's not. It's going to be perfectly fine. Okay, so now we have the save game. What we're going to do now is go to Horizon. We're going to open up our Sandy K Shadow 22. And we're going to, before, you may, just in case if your world does by any chance come corrupt, you may want to save a copy of it on your desktop. Would be very much a good idea. Your yes, as long as you're really fine. Okay. Up in here, and we're going to change. It's not save game dot dot, and we're going to game dot, and we're going to replace it. You know that for the updates. So as a the beginning of this, fact, but I haven't cut lately on the episode. I'm just kind of.
from prior knowledge. I did a lot of hex coding and gaming editing, so and proper designing. I do a lot of that, so well, I'm assuring that you the work. And again, yeah, not responding, it's just being dumb. Probably won't need no more. This uh, is, I do know it. Ignore. You just gotta ignore the small thing. But uh, the stupid thing is not I don't know. And I do not care. I do care. So I'm trying to figure out what stuff. News. I'm assuming it's left because I got the come to how to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and see you is skyrocket. Oh yeah, crap.exe. So I was right. Uh, if you guys get, I don't know what to tell you because it's being dumb. Uh, we're gonna do a force quit, and we're gonna retry. It. Yeah, see my signal. I am good. File for replay. You can see the size should not change; should still be the same value. And we're going to go to package and, and we're going to save resign. Resign. Sorry. Yeah, resign. This is a good application to use a monitor thing. I'm not going to this. I might. might. It just depends on how I'm feeling. But yeah. Okay. What is up with Horizon? Wait a second. As you can see, I'm offline. All right. With you just got patient with computers, I guess you can't rush anything, no, or else things just don't turn out right. Ooh, I'm on display. Okay, I have personal files in there, such as my passwords and stuff. I just gotta recycle. Uh, if you guys were wondering, while well, this is low, what kind of programming I do, I make. Old sort well, I can see these three icons right here or icons on any software. But yeah, you guys can skip ahead if you would like. Maybe earlier like when it's I don't did not exit out. Chewed. Okay, so that is currently not responding. Class presentations. We will go ahead and end that. <clears throat> Today I don't understand why that only loads up. I never activated it on my computer, but, okay. Uh, if you guys were wondering how I pulled this up, I did control shift escape, and I'm going to pause the video while this loads. Okay, you guys, so after that has finished and it says saved, rehashed, and resigned the device, click OK. I believe you can press O. Yeah, see, O. <laughs> Shortcut, huh? Okay, so we can go ahead and close this, and I'm just going to move that to the side, and my friend texted me, and I will ignore for a second. So, as you guys are going to want to do, you're going to want to click this tab at the bottom right of your windows. You're going to right-click the USB check icon. We're going to safely remove hardware. And as you guys have seen in my other videos, this always takes me forever to load up. And it is ridiculous. I don't understand. I'm getting a way better laptop soon, so be watching out. Uh, so speaking of laptops, there are two main brands that I personally enjoy looking at. Okay, so you're going to inject USB.2. 2.0 or whatever it's called well anyways they're called alienware and razor computers they are great for gaming programming and if your computer is never responding to you i highly recommend them they have a high core processor and they have web lights on them and they're just simply amazing they have 8 gigabytes of RAM, and you can upgrade to, I believe, about 16 to 32 gigabytes of RAM. It is quite expensive upgrading it, but yes. In just a quick, quick review, what you will need in the video is Horizon, CMD, a hex editing program. They all work about the same. You will need this how-to for the codes, which will be in the description, and I'll have the codes in the description as well. And I will have the Minecraft EXE, and I think I'll add this and the new compressor in too. 
I'll give you the full deal package. If you know what I mean, winky face. And so I'll see you guys next time. I am planning on making a Minecraft series because my friend wants me to. And I decided not to today. Maybe I might. Because I have to get my capture card up and working because it's ridiculous. If you guys have any, have any cheap recommended capture cards for the Xbox 360 and you can put a link in the description, please do. Because this, my capture card is junk. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, like, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions. And have a good day. So as you guys are going to want to do, you're going to want to click this tab at the bottom right of your windows. You're going to right click the USB check icon. We're going to safely remove hardware. And as you guys have seen in my other videos, this only takes me forever to load up. And it is ridiculous. I don't understand. I'm getting a way better laptop soon, so be watching out. Uh, so speaking of laptops, there are two main brands that I personally enjoy looking at. Okay, so you're going to inject USB dot. 2.0 or whatever it's called well anyways they're called alienware and razor computers they are great for gaming programming and if your computer is never responding to you i highly recommend them they have a high core processor and they have led lights on them and they're just simply amazing they have 8 gigabytes of RAM and you can upgrade to I believe about 16 to 32 gigabytes of RAM. It is quite expensive upgrading it, but yes. In just a quick, quick review, what you will need in the video is Horizon, CMD, a hex editing program. They all work about the same. You will need this how-to for the codes, which will be in the description, and I'll have the codes in the description as well. And I will have the Minecraft EXE, and I think I'll add this and the new compressor in too. I'll give you the full deal package, if you know what I mean, winky face. And so I'll see you guys next time. I am planning on making a Minecraft series because my friend wants me to, and I decided not to today. Maybe I might, because I have to get my capture card up and working because it's ridiculous. If you guys have any, have any cheap recommended capture cards for the xbox 360 and you can put a link in the description please do because this my capture card is junk but thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed like like subscribe and comment if you have any questions and have a good day